with a brand new floor plan and an absolutely gorgeous look. Could the new Miramar 34-7 be the best Miramar yet? I'm Steve Duval from Thor Motor Coach and we are about to find out. I appreciate you being with us today. Yes, the brand new Miramar 34.7. What a great floor plan. Quick overview before we get into the nitty gritty and all the details. We have opposed seating, a great kitchen, bath and a half model. You can get to the half bath with the slides in. And if you want to shimmy back, you could even get back to the full bath. So I want to show it to you with your slides in. We're going to go ahead and open this Miramar up so you can see all the living space this creates. The size of the bedroom will blow your mind. So in order to get these walls up, what we need to do is put the jacks down first, right? So your engine's on, your parking brake is set. I already have that happening. You hit auto, your jacks will come down, they will level your coach. You keep that uh, Miramar running, you go to the slide icon on your Rapid Camp Plus, which we are going to talk about, and you go ahead and you extend your slides. Now watch as this opens up. Create so much room in here. This is a full wall slide. So this slide picks up right behind the driver's seat, goes all the way back to the master bath. So you're going to get a ton of space in here as your wall opens up. So there are two slide walls on this coach. You have the full slide wall here, and then your king size bed is going to be on a slide of its own. And we are going to go ahead and put this slide out now, hit extend, and out goes your bed. Now look at all of the room we have in here. You can get around, you can move around. The amount of space you have in the bedroom, storage, space, it's a fantastic motorhome. It's the new Miramar at 34.7. And as we have our slides out, let's go ahead and quickly go over Rapid Camp Plus. It's our all-in-one control center. Starting with your home screen, right here, you can control all of your lights. You can see your tank levels. Now you do have two gray and two black on this. We'll talk capacities when you go outside. You can turn your water pump on from here. Remember your water pump does need to be on when you are dry camping. You can turn it off when you are connected to city fixtures. Monitor your house and chassis batteries. You can set your auto gen start from here and you can monitor your solar charging, 10 amp solar charger on here. 100 watts of solar charging comes standard. If you'd like to add another panel, you can. You can pull up your GoPower screen from either here. You can also download the app, the Vega Touch Eclipse app on your phone and you can monitor and control everything from here. We'll do some of that as we head outside. The next button down, the lightning bolt, those are your auto gen start settings. You can set your triggers. You can see how many hours are on your generator, which is very, very important for maintenance. You can set your quiet time. You can start, if you set it from low volts, what are the volts you want it to start at? Uh, you can take and set the time you want it to run. All of your settings are right in this screen. It is real intuitive and easy to use. And we move on down to our lights. Every single light on your Miramar controlled from this panel. If there's an arrow by it, that means you can take and dim the lights and set the mood like we have. Look at that at the dine little wine there, right? Maybe you want to dim the lights. Set your climate control. You do have dual ACs on here, 13,500 BTU units, front and rear cool furnace. You do have an auto mode. Uh, the furnace, you do need to have your propane on. We'll talk about that on our exterior tour. You can control your fans. You have a fan in the kitchen. You do have a fan in your half bath and you do have a fan in your full bath out back. Slides, we were just there. This is also how you control your awnings. And then you go into the settings page, you hit mobile app. That is how you connect to the Vega Touch Eclipse and a couple of other settings in here as well. Set your clock, clean the screen. That is a quick view of Rapid Camp Plus. Important to talk about because you're going to need to use this to set up camp as you live and explore and enjoy all the features of your Miramar 34.7. So we talked about the new colors. Let's get in depth. I love this gray. Shell gray cabinets. These are new. You have so much room in these cabinets as well. You can store anything you want. And as we go through the storage here, you'll be impressed at everything you can take along. So this is going to be our Moonstone decor right here. So you get Moonstone and Shell Gray. Your other decor options, you do have uh, Biscay Bay, 
with regatta wood. So whatever it is you like, you can choose in your Miramar. So let's talk about all of our seating options here. We're going to start right over here because this is these are the optional theater seats. If you would like, you can go ahead and you can put in a sofa, but the theater seating, seat two right here, uh, the sofa is a 68 inch jackknife sofa that makes into a bed. So if you don't need all the sleeping space, you may want to go with the theater seating right here. You do have some cup holders, nice storage bay right here. It's right across from the TV. You can throw your feet up. You can watch a movie. You can stream your favorite shows. You can, you can watch nothing, whatever you want to do. And if you are into streaming, because that seems to be what people like to do. We like to binge watch and take in instead of waiting to next week to see the next episode, we have to watch them all right now. You can do that a couple of ways. How about hooking up your own streaming device? You can do that right in this cabinet here. We do have a Blu-ray player and we do have an HDMI switcher. If you have a streaming device or a gaming console, you can take and connect that and then you get set up with the WineGuard Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. Now you can take and get a data plan through WineGuard, get a data plan through your favorite carrier, insert that SIM card into the module on the roof, and now you have internet anywhere you go. So whether you are at camp, whether you are dry camping, whether you are traveling down the road and on a long road trip and your passengers wanna take and stream their favorite shows or play an online video game, you can do that with the WineGuard Connect. So these are our theater seats, and over here we do have our dinette. 72 inch dinette. A couple of things I wanna talk about with our dinette, because this is going to be your go-to place for meals. If you are setting up a mobile office, Again, you can use that WineGuard Connect to do a little work while you're on the road. Maybe you want to update your social media posts. You can do that while you're traveling. We have it set up for, for a nice meal here. And the other nice thing is we set that pillow over there. You have backrest here, right? So you can sit back and you can put your feet up to not just whoever is sitting in the theater seating. You can go ahead. You can put your feet up. You can unwind. You have cup holders for the drive. You do have seat belts. In the booth, you have seat belts in the theater seating or in the sofa, depending on what you would like in your Miramar 34-7. And if you travel with little ones, you do have a child safety tether right here so you can take and make sure that your little ones not only ride in Miramar style, but Miramar safety as well. You do have some storage down below on each side. Each of under the seat, there is a bin underneath so you can go ahead and store blankets, pillows, toys, coloring books, whatever it is, because this makes into a bed. All you have to do is throw the latch, you push down the table, and then you move your cushions into place, and then you now have a nice place to sleep for the night. In the morning, take and lock it back up, and now you're set for breakfast. Now, these aren't the only seating options, right? So we have sofa or theater seating, we have the dinette, Right up front, all oh, these chairs are more than just driving your Miramar from place to place. These spin around, they become part of your living area. It's a great way to include everybody in the conversation. You have a pedestal table that sets up in the middle here. Great place to just sit, relax, unwind, spend the morning, spend the evening, spend a rainy afternoon inside your Miramar. And unfortunately, not every day can be sunny, Today we're getting a lucky nice day where we can be out exploring, but in the event that it is raining, you will enjoy living inside your Miramar and cooking too. Maybe it's one of those days where it's raining, you wanna cook a big meal. This kitchen is set up for whatever it is you wanna do and set up for whatever it is you wanna take along. The storage in this is unbelievable. You have some shelves here for pots and pans because we don't have a stove. We have a convection microwave, the microwave is your microwave, but it is also your oven. The convection button, that allows you to set your temperature, you set your time, and you use this just like you would use your oven, only it doesn't heat up your Miramar. And the way that it works with the convection and spins around that heat, it also works as a massive air fryer for fish or chicken nuggets or crisping up those leftover french fries, whatever it is you can do in there. You also have your single burner induction cooktop, 
and two gas burners. So you have the best of both worlds on here. If you like cooking with uh, gas, make sure the propane's on or whether you cook with electric. More storage down below. You have one, two, three, four drawers here. You have large drawers here. You can fit your wastebasket under here. You can fit your solid surface cover for your sink. Yeah, you got covers for your sink. When you need more room, you can put these into place. Double bowl stainless steel sink. We have a cover set up here. You got a cutting board up here. Plenty of room for cookbooks, for coffee mugs. Do up the dishes in here, then you can put them away right up here. I do want to note, this little sticker reminded me and it will remind you, because of the way this wood is painted, this shell gray wood, and it is beautiful, right? When you do clean this, you are only going to want to use a mild detergent. So you're going to want to take a little bucket of warm water, some mild detergent, and then just wipe it. Don't use any harsh cleaners on here because you will ruin this gorgeous wood. Mild, mild detergent. Another cabinet right over here. More cabinets right over here. You have all kinds of storage in your Miramar 34-7. I talked about Rapid Camp Plus. Down here is your inverter. You can go ahead and turn on your inverter when you are traveling down the road. What that's going to do when you turn on your house batteries, which you are going to want to do through the switch right over here on the doorstep, you turn on your house batteries. And then what that is going to do is that's going to take that 12 volt power and that is going to switch it up. It's going to pull the old voltage switcheroo and that is going to power select outlets in your Miramar, including the one under the flip out dash workstation, which we'll talk about when we put the hammer down and take this Miramar out for a drive. As we work our way back, you know what? Let's hit the, uh, let's hit the half bath since this is next. The room in here is amazing. The storage alone blows my mind. Okay. So we have our porcelain foot flush toilet. We have our sink. We have cabinets below the sink. We have a couple of storage cubbies off to the right of that. Then up above, large medicine cabinet, another corner cabinet, and then you have a pull-out medicine cabinet, if you will, right behind there. One, two, three, four shelves, so you can fit all kinds of goodies that you need for your trip right in there. And as we turn around, how about our fridge? Yep, you do get a fridge. You do get a freezer, nice residential refrigerator and freezer in your Miramar. You can go ahead and load that up. And how about a pantry? Because you got plenty of food to feed, plenty of people to feed in your family, right? Or maybe it's just the two of you and you want snacks or you want to take the stuff that you like to eat. You're going to fit whatever you need in this pantry. We have it stocked with treats and cereal and condiments down below, but you can see just how tall these shelves are and they go way, way back. So if you don't want to use it as a pantry, if you can fit everything down below here, you know, maybe you put some blankets in here or you use it as extra storage for pillows, whatever you need. Just nice to have all of this storage. How about this one? Look at this. Vented doors, you know what that means. Washer, dryer, prep. Yeah, if you'd like to add a stackable washer and dryer, this is where you're going to put it. It is all set for it. And if you are deciding, I don't really want the washer and dryer, I don't need it. I'd rather have a hanging space while well, you do have hanging space in here as well as adjustable shelves. So this is all set for whatever you need. Washer and dryer or hanging space. If you need more hanging space, we have more closets to show you as we step back into the bedroom. But I do want to show you all of the room you have back here. This is a king size tilt of view bed. And when it is in the up position, like it is right now, the space back here is unbelievable. And this is great having the tilt of view because, you know, we got a TV right here. And yeah, there's storage behind that as well. If you want to just lay in bed and relax, put your feet up, but recline and watch TV or read a book. It's great to have the tilt of view option. You also have USB charging ports in the nightstands. So this is just an amazing amount of room back here. And again, more storage in the bedroom. You do have one, two, three, four cabinets right up above your bed. Down below, you do have your fuse box. You have your 110 and your 12 volt uh, fuses in there. So this is the place to check if you think you blew a fuse. You do have two drawers under the bed as well. As we move over to our dresser top, we have the nice large countertop. We have USB ports. We have 110 ports. Two very large dresser drawers in here. 
so you can fit more more articles of clothing in there four drawers down below these extremely large closets look at that just so many options and features in this closet by the way i do want to bring out this ladder here because the pedestal table we talked about that stores in here as well as this ladder this ladder is for your overhead bunk that holds 500 pounds so you have sleeping here on the dinette you have sleeping up above on the overhead bunk and if you opt in the sofa the jackknife sofa you have sleeping up there so you can sleep plenty of people here the overhead bunk is a great feature to have and i love having this ladder that collapses like that and just a nice place to store it so some uh large closets back here i mean you can store a ladder a table in all of your clothes back here all of your shoes large bathroom and an excellent excellent master bath as you walk back here you're treated to yes more interior storage you have one two three four five cabinets up above the sink including this large medicine cabinet here you have a corner cabinet three cabinets up above then down below another cabinet below the sink three cabinets or three drawers down here so you can really load up this bathroom i'll tell you if you, if you are a full-timer this would be a great full-time coach because of all the storage not only inside and we'll show you that storage when we go outside i want to talk about the shower real quick it is a 30 by 36 shower all right you do have the the little shower head that you can use and one of the great features that we have on the mirror now is shower miser what happens is when you get in the shower and you turn on the hot water typically what happens is you take the wand and you run it over your hand you know you're like this right you're like ooh, that's not hot and then all that water just fills up your gray tank but with the shower miser what you do is you turn that valve and then that hot water just starts to build and starts to build and starts to build so you're not doing this you're watching the little blue pipe here that's going to turn to a shade of white like you see here now you crack the valve and you have hot water you have your hot water uh, and that's just a great feature to have the shower miser and your showers are going to be hot because you have tankless hot water on here you do have the controls back there you can go ahead and set them you have nice under cabinet lighting in the kitchen that you can take and control right from here this makes a nice night light for those that are sleeping up front you know what else I like to do up front? Drive. Love to drive the Miramar. Let's hop in the driver's seat and put the hammer down. All right, so this is built on a Ford F53 chassis powering your Miramar. You're going to get a 7.3 liter V8. You have 335 horse. You have 468 pound feet of torque. You have a six speed transmission that uh, is going to help wind this baby out. So go ahead, put the hammer down. 80 gallons of gas on this. We'll show you where to fill up when we head outside. Quick walk through the dash. You have a nice cup holder up here for the driver, a place for your phone. Heated remote mirrors. You do have cameras, integrated side view cameras on the mirrors. We'll show you when we go outside, but when you turn your directional on left or right, you can take and whatever is in that mirror will show up on this infotainment screen. Or you can use the steering wheel controls to pull up your backup or your side view camera. Let's talk about that because I love having this feature on here. It is the little camera button, left camera, backup camera, right side view camera at any point. It's a great way to see when you are changing lanes, you're at a stoplight, wherever, maybe you're in construction. Pull that up at any point. You don't have to turn your directional on. Just press that button. This pad also allows you to control the radio, the volume, and your phone calls. Let's just keep on the thumb pads over here on the left. This controls your menu. You have trip meters, some maintenance reminders. Down below, you have cruise control. Pretty standard dash with your speedometer, your gauges, uh, your tachometer. And moving over, we do have uh, our one-touch leveling jacks. Again, we have those down right now do have emergency start so you're going to want to use that in the event that your chassis battery is dead you can hold that in and your house batteries will take over and jump start the coach for you you do have uh, fog light controls you do have auto headlights you do have an adjustable steering wheel over here dash fans you can start your generator from here cabin lights your map lights you have docking lights out back and you can put down your nightshade 
HVAC controls over here. And as we talk about our radio, we do have Sirius XM satellite radio. We have Android Auto. We have Apple CarPlay on this. So whatever type of device you like to use, this is going to be compatible with that. And that's going to be important in just a moment. If you want to take and press the camera button instead of the button on your steering wheel, you can pull up your backup camera. You also have Bluetooth audio, Bluetooth phone, and a couple other settings in here. Now, one item that's important to note that this does not have RV specific navigation, but that's what's great about Android Auto or Apple CarPlay and your 2023 Miramar because for one year you'll get Road Pass Pro. And what Road Pass Pro is four camping apps, travel apps that are going to help you on your trip. Campendium, Road Trippers, RV Village, and Togo RV. It's a great social network to connect with other people who share your love of travel. You can find new places to travel, maybe some free camping overnight. Where are you going to find some great cell coverage if you need that? And you do get RV-specific GPS navigation, so you're going to get that. Uh, it's a great way to, to, to get a, try something new, right? You're going to try something new. As we move over to our passenger, they get the flip out dash workstation. So if they have, you know, some notes to take or if they have work to do while they're on the road, all you do is pull that out. You have some 12 volts. We talked about the 110 down below when your inverter is on and now your passenger is entertained while they are driving. Maybe they're going to stream a show as well, or maybe they're going to take and post, post. My wife would be posting to the social media sites as we traveled down the road. So what we want to do now, that is our interior. We have talked about everything in here and just how beautiful it looks on the outside, just as beautiful and just as much storage. What I want to do right now is bring in the slide rooms. And I want to do that for a, a couple of reasons. One, when we're doing the walk around, it's just going to be easier uh, to give you a better look inside the storage bays without the slide wall over top of them. So we're going to go ahead and bring in our bed slide first. And because this is a tilt of view bed, it is going to say before as you hit before you hit retract and say, hey, is the bed in the up position? You are going to get a warning. All right. So once you say, yeah, hey, we're good to go, you go ahead and you pull that bed in. Now we're going to take once that's in and we're going to retract this full wall slide. As the slide comes in, I do want to talk about a couple of things here, especially on a wall this big, because sometimes your finger will slip off the button, you'll get distracted, the chairs won't be spun around, maybe something falls on the floor, and you're thinking, oh, I got to stop. And we'll just do that. We'll stop, we'll pick up whatever it is that we need, we'll shut the door, maybe this door didn't get shut, you don't want to smash it or damage anything, you take your finger off, and then you go ahead and you bring the wall in the rest of the way. Well, there's a way to take and fix after time. What's going to happen is those motors may get out of alignment. You may notice your wall starting to go in a little crooked. Maybe you just notice the back going in before the front. Really easy to do. We just were on retract, right? So this is six touches. You start on the opposite side, which would be extend. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Listen. You just synced up your motors. So now your motors are in sync. So the next time you get out of your Miramar and you set up camp and you put this full wall slide out, it's not going to be out of sync because you just synced it up. All right, we talked about all the storage inside and you can fit a lot in here. Let's talk about the storage outside. Let's talk about your generator. Let's get this Miramar hooked up and show you the brand new, absolutely beautiful exterior colors. You're going to love this. Let's go outside and let the outside tour begin. Before we do, real quick, I want to draw your attention to this yellow label. You're going to find this on every Miramar. On this 34-7, your occupant and cargo carrying capacity, 2,625 pounds. That's a lot of stuff. And you saw where you can put a lot of it inside. We're going to show you outside where you can store it. And did I mention that this is 36 feet from front to back? So, 36-foot coach. Yeah, it's going to have all the amenities you want on the outside. I want to start up front real quick and talk about, we talked about the cameras integrated into the mirrors. That's where they are. So a nice clean shot down the side. And again, you can turn those on at any point. Look at this beautiful paint. You know what this is called? Reggae. This is reggae. Brand new full body paints on your Miramar. We also have Blue Rondo. And we have steel band, beautiful paints. You can't go wrong with any of them. 
and we have this large awning over top. You want to go ahead and put that out? Let's do that. Let's put that awning out while we're here. Um, this is controlled through Rapid Camp Plus. And what's nice about Rapid Camp Plus, and I didn't mention this while we were inside, is you can take, and we'll show you what this looks like here on this Blue Rondo uh, 347 here. You can connect to the cloud now through Eclipse. And what that is going to do is allow you to control every aspect of your Miramar anywhere in the US, in Canada, and Mexico. So how cool is that? So you can be somewhere and, in fact, I'll give you a quick example of how handy it is. Somebody was parked in a RV lot in a casino, a ways out, they went up in the St. Louis Arch and they could see their coach in the lot and they realized that they had left their awning out and they took and they loaded it up and they put that awning right back in. Yes, how cool is that? There are also wind sensors on here too, so if it does get gusty, the wind uh, will set those off and it'll come back in, retract by itself, so you don't have to worry, but it is recommended before you leave, go ahead and put your awning in. Let's talk storage. Storage bay number one. 154 cubic feet of storage. On this Miramar, you have nice, durable, rotocast storage bays. They're nice and tall. And a lot of this has to do with the True Flat Floor Foundation. The way that we get it, it comes in just straight rails, and then we send it off to More Ride, and they fabricate the True Flat Floor Foundation for us. So it's a better ride, a solid house, and massive amounts of storage, just like we have here. Opening up another storage bay. Another rotocast bay. What's nice about this one, you have a lot of large pass-through. You do have an outlet right up here, and you do have a port down here where you can run a plug. So if you have a table set out and you don't want people tripping over the cables, maybe you're tailgating. Hmm? Maybe you're tailgating. There's an idea. Run that cord down here, and nobody trips over your cord. Entry steps we talked about. This bay right here, I like to call the old B&B batteries and breakers. So if uh, something major is not working, a major component, you do have a couple of these. You have a 100 amp breaker right over here. Uh, right back here, you have another breaker. You can go ahead and check those. Right up top, exterior TV. We talked about tailgating, here you go. Maybe you're at one game and you're watching another, right? You wanna see how the teams are doing this swivel so you can point it this way if you're the one cooking with the grill. Yeah, we'll talk about talk about grilling out here in just a second, but sound bar too, so maybe you just wanna pump some music, you can do that. Uh, so a lot of great entertainment options for you outside. You do have, this is the exhaust for your furnace. Your propane needs to be on. If it is chilly and you run your furnace, just be aware that is where that vents. Right over here, 100 gallons of fresh water. We fill that on the other side, but when you're ready to drain the tank, this is the valve. Turn that, that will drain your fresh water tank. 100 gallons. Nice, big 22 and a half inch tires. That is gonna give you a smooth, smooth ride. Don't forget to check your tire pressure. Very important to do that. Make sure you're doing that when they are cool. Speaking of cool, how cool is this? I know, okay, yes, it's the Thor Shield, but this is also a tie-down link. So if you're traveling with uh, pets, maybe uh, your kids brought some friends that wander off, you can tie every, no, don't tie the kids to here. You can tie your pets to here, you can take and you can uh, lock up the bikes here if you brought bikes or whatever it is. So a nice, securely mounted uh, tie-down link for you. As we move back, Here's our propane, little storage bay up here. This is a great one for like your tool bag or whatever, because you never know what you're gonna need on your trip. Bring it all, right? Better to have it, not need it, than need it, and not have it. Turn your propane on here, and this is going to be needed for your uh, furnace. It's gonna be needed for your hot water. You do have some pass-through right up here. I mean, this goes all the way to the other side, fishing poles, whatever you wanna put in there. Nice aluminum slam latch doors. You do have the gas hinges down there nice and secure another large bay there's our propane connection that is where you're going to take and run the line to your grill so if you want to grill out or maybe bring a fire pit or whatever it is that would require propane regulated connection not getting the flame you want at the grill check the grill not your exterior propane connection nice rotocast bay right back here let's walk around back you know what's new out back all of it this is all new Brand new rear cap on this Miramar. I like the way this looks. We talked about the button for the docking lights. 
There are your docking lights. That is your backup camera that shows up in the display. Lots of natural light coming in the window there for the bedroom. 250 pound ladder to go up on the roof and do maintenance. You do have a one piece roof up there. 80 gallons of fuel right here and your 8,000 pound hitch. You do have your seven pin and four pin connectors over there when you're towing. We talked about your occupant and cargo carrying capacity. You gotta, you gotta know how much you're loading up. What you do is you take that gross combined weight rating. You're gonna find that on ThorMotorCoach.com and then you're gonna subtract that from your gross vehicle weight. What you have left is what you can hook to your Miramar hitch. Walk it around to the other side here. Tankless hot water, the controls are in the bathroom. If it's not working, there's a fuse and there is an on and off switch. So you're gonna wanna take and very little troubleshooting there. It's really a fuse and on and off. Getting into here. All right, here we go. Black and gray tank number one, right? For the number two. See what I did there? I'm, I'm playing with numbers. I know, wouldn't, wouldn't that be great if that was, that was the whole thing? You're like, oh, this mirror mark tour is on point. But uh, his number jokes were off the hook. <laughs> that would be, oh, watch the views go down as we talk, right? So back here, you do have uh, the 40 black and 30 gray. Uh, you did, we'll, we'll, we'll show you how to drain these when we get up to your whole home filtration system. But uh, system back here, including your electric and your cable, this is going to be a 50 amp coach. Uh, when you do plug this in, you want to make sure that once this is connected and you can run this right up through this opening here and then make sure the breakers are uh, turned off at the campsite and then you go ahead and plug in and then you flip the breakers on um, and then you plug into cable here if you want to watch cable at the campground and you have a tank flush back there as well. As we move on there is our quiet gas 5500 watt generator. This will power everything in your Miramar. There's a maintenance schedule. Make sure that you are following your maintenance schedule as well. You can run your generator when you are driving down the road. You do have the two roof conditioners. If you are traveling with more than two people who are just the passenger and driver and you want to keep the whole house cool, go ahead and run that AC, run the generator, then you can run your AC. This is the other side of that large pass-through bay that we just showed you. So a lot of storage there be aware generator exhaust is right there that will get hot as we move up here there's our whole home filtration lots happening back here yep you have a water filter you can flush your tank you have a couple of drains back here low point drains you have an exterior shower you have a light out here which is super handy to have so when you're setting up camp uh, this is going to be 40 gray 40 black on this by the way so let's real quick kind of hook uh, hook stuff up here when you are draining your tanks uh, this is a brand new Miramar so you're going to want to wear gloves on yours but we don't because everything on here is brand new simply take the bayonet connections you connect that in here and then you run the other side into the uh, dump station and you are set. Go ahead and you're going to pull your black tank. And then when that is uh, done, you go ahead and you pull your gray tank. Whatever you want to do when you're camping, whether you're filling your tank, which you do right here with a hose like this, 100 gallons of fresh. Remember, you just screw this in here, hook the other end to wherever it is you're getting your fresh water from. Now you're filling your tank. You're at camp while well, it's still in here, but now it's hooked up to uh, maybe another water fixture. Go ahead and you turn it to city fixtures. You're sanitizing or winterizing? Go ahead, turn it here. Water heater, what are you doing? Are you sanitizing it? Are you just, you just want everything to run as is? Uh, you need a bypass drain, so everything is laid out here. So a lot of options here in your wet bay. Let's move up one, Tom, and see what we got going on. Who wants to take a guess if it's more storage? Yeah, you're right. It's more storage. A lot of storage in here. I just love how tall these are. If you have one of those coolers that are really tall where you can take like a two liter bottle of, of a beverage, you can fit those coolers in these bays. Let's shut this one up and open another one. There's a, your 50 amp cord that comes with the Miramar. What's great is because it's detachable, you can throw it in any bay you want. Right now it's in here. And again, you have some nice pass through in this storage bay out here another large storage bay and as we talk about just things being large remember we showed you this full wall slide that goes from here all the way down to here 
that these are uh, laminated sidewalls, by the way. We take the interior wall board, and you saw how beautiful the colors were with the aluminum frame. We take the black foam insulation. We take the fiberglass. We put it into a sleeve. And then we suck all the air out, of course, after it's all, you know, adhesive together. We let it sit in there for about a half hour and you have just this durable uh, structure. We do the same for our roof and our floor. And the structure is so durable, you're going to get a 12-year structural, six-year lamination, and one-year limited warranty on your Miramar. One more bay to open up for you. <laughs> yes, it's a storage bay. Who would have thought, right? Yeah, I'm telling you, the storage on this is unbelievable. We talked a little bit about full timing and how you need room for what you want to bring along after you downsize. You have room for it inside. You have room for it outside. You have room everywhere. We do have another, the other mirror here with the other integrated camera. Uh, up front, love this front cap with the daytime running lights. We talked about the power plant under the hood, that 7.3 liter. The Miramar is just a great driving coach. So wherever you want to go in your Miramar, you most certainly can. This is the all new 34-7. So is it the best Miramar floor plan? I'm no magic eight ball, but all signs point to yes. I appreciate you being here. I'm Steve Duval, and I'll see you next time. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800 335 6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?